Hey y'all, Faith Kelly and Kaz Moon here, and uh, we are in Aiken, South Carolina, and this might actually be our first two-part video on a place that we're staying. Um, we had just, uh, we're staying at the Bird's Nest Inn out here in Aiken, and this place is incredible. It is just, um, I am elated with the beauty of um, the owner, Melinda, when, when and the property. It? You look around, you think, man, Melinda did this to herself. Yeah. In three years, she built this place. Like, you just think, some people are just superhuman. Before we get into it, we just want to talk a little bit about last night at Smiley's on the Rocks um, open mic night. What a freaking, what a freaking cool night, man. Yep. We got to see Michael, our friend. Yep. Um, Thanks for dinner, Mike. Seriously. Uh, it's a, uh, I got to sing Mikey's song for mm -hmm. him. I, I didn't even realize it you know i wrote that yeah song. you didn't play it last night you did the because you know it's, it's a long band. song you know it's it's open mic so i don't i don't i don't want to overstay my welcome on stage and i i have a tendency to ramble sometimes smiley's is cool man so now it's smiley's on the rocks smiley's on the rocks so the past two years um that we've been making this trek we had been stopping and it was smiley's it was a different location and we, we like to hit smiley's on our day off and just play their open mic and have a nice dinner and have like, see some old friends. We got to see Kevin. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's just, it's just such a cool, it's such a cool spot up in Greenville, South Carolina. And it was really cool to see how the company has grown. And I guess that they expanded into changed locations. Yeah, they changed. Well, I think that uh, Rox has been there for like 15 years. So I was talking to um, the other owner, mm -hmm. and they merged. They merged, yeah. um, and then they created Smiley's on the Rocks, which. It's just really cool. The room sounded great. Um, it's always cool to see a business that you've been returning to every year just growing and doing. It was cool. We got to see Jim. We got to see Tim. We got to see Kevin. Yeah. We got to see that kid Jeremy. Well, yeah, Jeremy's. You know. He rocks. Yeah. Uh, we just we met uh, this this six. He's sixteen. He needs. It's like it's it's so cool when you see like young musicians out there rocking and doing it. And man, I hope that he meets up with Miss Bliss. Well, sure. It's just it's just been a really cool journey so far. And we got to get into showing you this property. Um, we're going to do a little bit of the walkthrough now. And then we're going to continue in a video tomorrow. Um, because Melinda makes the breakfasts here. And most, like the eggs are from her chickens in the backyard. The blueberries grow on property. So all the vegetables, radishes. We're going to have to highlight we're going to have to highlight that breakfast in its own on our way to a Wendell, South Carolina, which we've never been there before. And Faith Kelly had reached out to Melinda and Melinda said, I, I would be more than happy to uh, give you some shelter yeah. for a night. And so you guys, if you're ever passing through um, to Augusta, Aiken, Greenville, I don't, this would be probably on the way to Atlanta coming from the east. Um, this, it's just cool. I've never. This is, this is. A beautiful this would be a great place for anybody that just wanted to get away to yeah just wanted to take a night or two and just I mean there's a nice gazebo out back and then there's like horses and yeah well let's show them yeah we'll, yeah, we'll show you yeah let's go all right all so this is the bird nest inn and I just wanted to show you um, how beautiful this property looks uh, from a distance and just when you're this is you could the website's up there it's birdnestin.com definitely an amazing spot to check out if you're looking for some peace and serenity or if you're traveling through south carolina you know to take a, a beautiful old building and to just turn it into something totally new and filled with life and art it's just uh it's a really amazing time to be here just uh just kind of elated and taken back by it all this cas went over there doing some uh van stuff loadout stuff we're about to go head out to Augusta but I just wanted to show you these tall trees this beautiful beautiful place and I can't wait to do another video on it tomorrow just to kind of do a little follow-up because I am really looking forward to her breakfast we pulled up here and it was like pulling into paradise a little chunk, a little chunk ahead. yeah um totally just like uh, it's just beautiful, man. It's we were saying also how it's weird how like in the south you have these super tall pine trees. Um like super freaking tall. And then there's like a part of the of the country like up by Pennsylvania where you get more maple, you don't get as much pine. And then you get kind of like shorter, fluffier 
um, pine trees when you get up to Vermont and stuff. And this is blooming. All right, y'all. So we got into the stop and chat and we ended up in our room. And so we're going to show you the room first. This is the, um, the mocking bird. Yes. The mocking bird suite. Um, man, I can't wait to sleep in that bed. But here's the thing that, here's the thing that cracked me up the most is that I walked into the room. Just, it's just beautiful. You get a little office space there. You turn, you're like, wow, this is incredible. And then there's this awesome bird nest. You know, it is the bird nest in. And I, at first I thought he was real <laughs> and then he wasn't. So it made my day. It made me laugh. It's funny because it, it's the mockingbird room, but it's a rooster. The rooster is mocking the mockingbird, I would think. Um, so, and this, this place is really cool if you stay here. It comes with a sleep sound. It also comes with, um, you know, a charging station right by the bed. Um, and she's just collected awesome art throughout the years. Really nice bathroom. Very clean. Very cool. And um, she uses boxed water instead of plastic water to help on the environment. All right. So this is one thing. I just like, so I guess she had bought this place and has totally renovated it um, on her own. And it's just, the architecture itself is just, I love this like, yeah, it out. this cool little walkway of like, this like weird floating staircase. And we haven't adventured up there yet. There's um, a party of people staying in the rooms up there. So um, maybe we can check that out in the morning. But yeah, really nice little dining space. Coming with the coffee and just beautiful, beautiful views. Go check out that Foley. <laughs> Weights and Foley lamp. I, love I know. And I just love the art, all the sculptures. Christmas cacti. Cool teas and coffees. Yeah, you have a coffee station and tea, which is for us, if you know me, you know we love our coffee. My husband made this pottery. Yeah. So that was his pottery. He would build pottery. We got cookies. <laughs> it's just, there's, you can just feel the stories. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, the chandelier? Yeah. That's so cool. They had I've a, never seen a chandelier like that. <laughs> well, they had, well, I've used those at jobs down in the Caribbean, and I love this company. The Bombay company? No, um, I did the Charthouse Steakhouses down there. This time it was. Um, so anyway, that. It's like an art. It's just an art. It's piece. like it is, it is an art piece. Yeah, there's a lot of original art in this place. This this sculpture. This is a guy in Thailand, wow. Ken Arnston. We traded pottery. These are leather pieces from Okinawa, in World War II era. Wow. You know, it's like worth coming here just to see some of these pieces. It's yeah. like a museum. <laughs> wow, and that too. And these are my very favorite monkeys. I bought these about 40 years ago. Wow. Two little old ladies in Atlanta in their oh. mid-80s did these. Some of them would have red hunt jackets oh and little little riding boots on. And <laughs> I guess I bought about nine pair of them. I wish I'd kept more than yeah. just these. I used them on jobs, yeah. you know. But they were the first thing that caught my eye when we walked in. <laughs> All right, and then when you come out through, she actually like took out the Follow bathroom. This for a second. Huh. Just the interconnectedness of certain people. Yeah. And how the universe has a way of putting people together that just understand each other. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop for that, but. Yeah. Like, well, you know. A magical being. Yeah. Mm. This this property is magical, and um, it's just a lot of spirit here. It's a, uh, you know, I feel I feel hugged here. I feel like this, the land and the space she's created. Um, oh, there's the dog. She was telling us about the dog. Oh, she, so there's also just a beautiful gazebo here and right next to a beautiful pond. Yeah, we'll be sitting here tonight playing some music. Yeah, definitely gonna have to be doing some jamming here. Oh, I wanna go, we gotta check out these chickens and these horses though. That is. The you know, uh, when I get the opportunity to see some animals, I'm there to see some animals, so. Hello, guys. <laughs> so she had told us that the previous owner of the property was not really a fan of plants. And just in three years, she's totally just 
Um, she planted all these. Yeah. Welcome back here. Oh my gosh. She said. She said that. Oh, that's a giant. Oh my gosh, so that's beautiful. Ago, she first got here, it was desolate. Yeah. And now it is just. It is teeming with life. <laughs> Oh man, so yeah, she, she's she got some little rescue ponies back here, which I was pretty thrilled about. Looking good, rescue ponies. And some freaking cute chickens. So this is the garden. The, 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 the young horse there is 18 hands. Yeah. I'll, I'll cut to some videos of the actual ponies here in a second. They're eating right now. She had just got done feeding them. It's an awesome little garden. So yeah, most of the food that you will eat, um, that we'll eat tomorrow at the breakfast, and hopefully uh, y'all come check this beautiful spot out at some point in your travels, um, all, most of the food is made right here in the backyard. This is just the... All right, y'all, so that is the bird's nest inn. Um, and we're going to continue this tomorrow in the morning because I'm just I'm just really in love with this place. We still gotta meet the horses. Yeah, well, I got that. I got some footage, um, I got some footage of them that I'll, I'll cut in when we, we met them earlier. She was giving us a tour. Um, but we, that was just our little walk through. We're probably going to go get ready to head over to the Soul Bar here soon. It's like, it's just, it's just the perfect feeling perfect day. Place. Perfect place to get some work done. Yeah, perfect place to rest, get some work done. And man, I'm just really, really grateful um, to be down here. And thank you so much, Melinda, for having us. And I really hope that, uh, I really hope y'all check this place out, man. This is uh, Aiken, South Carolina. Yep. Who would have who would have thought we ended up here? Not this guy. No. <laughs> so in a bit, we're gonna drive about 25 minutes out to uh, Soul Bar um, in Augusta, Georgia, which another one of my favorite places. And I might even wait to actually post this until I take some shots of like James Brown statue and whatnot. You gotta get the statue. I gotta show you guys this statue. Well, we show him every time, but we gotta show him again. I don't think we ever put him in a video. Not a video. Yeah, because the videos when we started doing the videos, it was like. It was the Indiegogo thing. It was like buying a coffee and doing like a shout out or like trying to keep them to five minutes. And then it turned into, let's talk about the shows and let's show you the venues and show you these awesome places around the country of just really cool people doing really, really cool things. And um, we're really grateful that we get to do that and that it, this adventure that we went on for the first time three years ago has turned into this. So... Um, if you got an adventure, guys, go do it. Try it out. Um, you don't know. You don't know until you try it. And you don't, it, you know, you got to keep working at it. Because I I didn't know I'd, I'd ever be in Aiken three years ago. Check out some Augusta real quick. Bird's Nest. All right, y'all. So we are at one of my favorite bars in America, Soul Bar now. And Kaz is uh, finding parking and I really had to pee. So first I wanted to show y'all the awesome mural on the ladies bathroom um, ceiling. And now I'm going to show you the bar real quick before we go to the statue. So, so you got pool, you got legendary posters everywhere. You got some bad ass bartenders. Man, it's just, uh, this place is legendary. My all-time favorites. And that's the stage. And this is it, man. The Soul Bar. Freaking legendary place. I couldn't find Kaz and Moon. There he is, jumping someone's car. No way. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> Pass it, Kaz. Hey, thank you so much, brother. All right, y'all, so this is Augusta. We're just doing a little drive through. I love Augusta, this Georgia. This is literally one of the funnest towns to walk down the street. It's my favorite fucking city in America. You have gotten some really cool, classy stores, even just like window shopping in them. Tuesdays is not usually open, so James Brown Boulevard, Thursday. there it is. James Brown Boulevard, there it is. We are going to go uh, take a picture uh, by the statue now. So if you did not know, Augusta, is the hometown of James Brown and if you stop here you gotta come here and pay homage to the hardest working man in showbiz and just stop by and see the statue it's only like two blocks down the street from Soul Bar seriously just freaking love this town and that's actually a really cool park over there too yep. was it really this tall <laughs> 